30 years ago, all of the major inverter manufacturers in the US used heavy-duty, low-frequency, iron-core, copper-wound transformers in their inverter designs. These classically trained engineers understood the value of using a low-frequency, iron-core transformer in these heavy-duty devices because of its ability to provide a far longer life expectancy, a much safer product, and a superior peak power capacity for starting high inductance loads, such as refrigerators, microwave ovens, AC units, and power tools. About this same time, the Chinese decided that they wanted a piece of the lucrative American inverter market. So they began designing and building their own knockoff low-frequency inverters to export into the US. Unfortunately, they soon learned that the cost of using expensive copper, coupled with the cost of shipping a heavy, iron core transformer to the US would take far too big of a bite out of their profit. To counter these expenses, Chinese engineers made the decision to trash the most critical component in an inverter, the isolation transformer, and replaced it with a complex Frankensteinian assemblage of high voltage, high frequency, short-lived, Chinese-made components. Unfortunately for American consumers, this inferior high-frequency design results in a much shorter life expectancy than a transformer-based inverter, and a far poorer peak power capacity. In addition, the lack of an iron core copper wound output transformer means that there is no galvanic isolation between the DC voltage boost stage of this inverter design and its AC output which poses a fire risk to your AC appliances during a catastrophic failure of the inverter's protection circuitry. As expected, the first 15 years that these high-frequency inverters were produced for the US market was a total disaster. With nearly 25% of these inverters failing right out of the box and the remainder experiencing a catastrophic failure within a year, which eventually earned these products the reputation of being disposable or throwaway inverters. Fast forward another 15 years, and the big-name brand American inverter companies are still building their advanced, high-performance inverter products using low-frequency, heavy-duty, iron-core, copper-wound output transformers. And while low-frequency transformer-based inverters are now lasting as long as 10 to 15 years, the Chinese on the other hand have only been able to increase the life expectancy of their high-frequency inverters to an average of only 2 to 5 years. Less when high-frequency inverters are repeatedly powering inductive loads. Another critical weakness that the Chinese have failed to address over the past 30 years and probably never will is their high-frequency inverters' miserably low peak power capacity, which causes their inverters to overheat and repeatedly go into overload mode when powering residential inductive loads. And despite all of the early high-frequency inverter failures that resulted in damaged appliances and even fires, the Chinese are still flooding the US market with these poorly designed, unsafe, high-frequency inverters. Only this time, these Chinese manufacturers are stuffing these lightweight, short-lived, low-surge inverters into larger, more modern-looking metal boxes with little to no improvements to this outdated high-frequency technology with claims that they can safely power your entire home. So it is our recommendation that if you're planning on powering inductive loads in your home such as microwave ovens, refrigerators, power tools, or AC units, that you purchase a UL-listed, hybrid, low-frequency, pure sine wave transformer based inverter charger. We're the Inverter Doctor. Since 1999, we have provided inverter repair services to thousands of customers nationwide. Based on that experience, we know full well which inverter technology works and which inverter technology doesn't. In our professional opinion, when it comes to safety, performance, and reliability, a high frequency solar generator or inverter is the last thing on earth that you want to power your home with.